All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you daily horoscope for May 1st, Saturday, May 1st, 2021. We've got the moon moving through the early to middle degrees of Capricorn from about 10 to 21 degrees today of Capricorn. And we've got the sun, Uranus, Mercury, and Venus in the sign of Taurus. We have a lot of Earth energy right now. And the sun... And to, uh, Sun and Uranus, Sun's at 11 degrees, Uranus is at 10 degrees. We're going to have about 6 o'clock in the morning, we have the Moon at 10 degrees of Capricorn. So there's a little air, uh, Earth trine from, from uh, Capricorn to Taurus. So it's emotional uh, dynamics. Capricorn is about dynamics. You know, it, it, it's, it's like going with the flow no matter what comes our way. The peak of the mountains in the valley of the ocean. The great contrast of earth. The great contrast of, of, of the physical nature. What goes up must come down. And Taurus is this steadfast, stable energy. We want stability in our lives. We want honesty. We want just plain, you know, uh, it is what it is. You know, you see what it is. This is not an optical illusion, you know. Mars isn't in Gemini anymore. We don't have a ton of energy in Pisces besides Neptune being in Pisces. So it's like we don't want the optical illusion. We just want something straightforward and say what it is. Say what you mean. Say what you feel. Feel what you mean. Stand behind your words. Don't stand behind an illusion. You know, and we could have been dealing with that a little bit with the Scorpio full moon. As it's like, you know, the moon's it's hiding, hiding this energy behind, beneath the surface. And maybe things got brought up during that time as the moon was opposed to Uranus. Some emotions might have been brought up. Something would have been brought up from beneath the surface. And now the truth is exposed. And now it's as like the cat's out of the bag. What do you do about it? And the moon's been making its way through Sagittarius about expanding our mind learning how to deal with this thing on a, on a philosophical level. How did other people deal with it? You know, I just saw somebody post this, uh, you know, ask this, this question. It's just like, can a relationship come back from infidelity? And that's, that's a powerful question. And then to see all these, you know, no, 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 yes, I've seen it happen before. Yes, it can be done if two, two people are trying to work hard. And no, no, absolutely not. There's no way. You know, so it's like this interesting what the outside world says, but it's up to us and how we choose to maneuver through something. You know, who do we believe? Coming back to our self-belief. And now the moon's in Capricorn. And it's how we discipline ourselves, how we're going to move through that. So it's like if we come back from this thing, again, I'm just using, it is an example the infidelity you know it's just like that means there's work to be done that means honesty must be at the forefront of communication feeling our hearts talking about it whatever again just using that as a simple example and this can be in any way in our lives so the moon here in capricorn about discipline, how we structure ourselves, how we govern ourselves during this time. Still this little bit of opposition early in the morning uh, to Mars, making sure that we're, we're not having an emotional response, jumping the gun here, but being able to steadily one foot in front of another. You know, at the same time, it's just like we're going to, you know, th this energy here is just like one foot in front of another is how we get to the top of the mountain. And that's what the Sun, Venus, Mercury all want. And Uranus is up here <laughs> at the same time, creating great winds, rainstorms, fire and ice. And it's like the unpredictability is going to be thrown at us. Uh, at us. You know, this is, this is one of those tests. And, and, and right here we have this square, Mars starting to square Chiron, the moon square to Chiron. And this is like one of these tests. So back before when, when the moon was in Virgo, you know, we talked about uh, uh, letting go of something as far as like a physical habit, uh, a bad habit or, or uh, um, you know, something that no longer serves us. And this energy is kind of intensified. And this is like, this is that trying period with the moon and Capricorn square to Chiron, Mars square to Chiron, because it's like my emotions are pulling me this way, my, my brain says I have to, you know, my emotional kind of strength is saying I have to do this. 
I have to get up and go to work. I have to get up and, and fold laundry. It's my day off. I got to get up and go to the store. I don't have any food for the rest of the week. It's not even an option. You know, it's just like my responsibility. You know, I have to do this. I can't just emotionally um, let go and, and just wither away or hide out right now. You know, it's just like there's stuff to be done. And, and so it's like we're being tried in a certain sense. Like, are we staying committed? You know, May 1st here. How, what's, what's our, how's our New Year's resolutions going? You know, we've completed a good chunk of the year. How are we doing? Are we staying steadfast? Are we staying committed? And that's another aspect of Capricorn, committed. Are we staying committed to ourselves? Are we staying committed to our emotions? Are we trying this little, this little square happening here, you know, balance? Like, no matter what, we're going to be tried uh, when do you quit smoking cigarettes? You know, it's just it's like, well, I quit when, when there's less stress in my life. I'm going to quit drinking when there's less stress in my life. I'm going to let go of this person or this thing, this bad habit when I don't have X, Y, and Z. And then it's just like, okay, we, we've, we've kind of gone through that. We've come through that a bit. And this is one of those days that can potentially really kind of put it in our face, especially with the Uranus conjunct or Uranus conjunct the sun, Uranus trying to the moon, you know, the expect the unexpected in many, many different ways. Again, you're climbing the mountain and it's easy. It's easy to climb that mountain on, on, a, on a fresh summer, spring day. You know, if it's not too hot, not too cold, there's no wind, there's no rain, there's no sleet or ice. <laughs> and, and you got Uranus in the mix saying, you know, literally one day, uh, like two weeks ago here in Detroit, it rained, it snowed, it sleeted, it was sunny, you didn't need a jacket, and then it was freezing cold and you needed a jacket, all in the same day within hours apart. And it was just like, what is going on? So this is kind of happening to us planetarily. Uh, and, and it's just like, you know, coming back to self and Chiron and healing ourselves and giving ourselves the nourishment that we need at this time. Uh, and, and staying steadfast and committed to whatever it is that we've set out to do. Okay, so that's kind of early in the morning, depending where you're at. And, and the moon's going to move through Capricorn, and it's not going to be until later at midnight that it's going to create this trine over there to Venus. Oh, first, though, we're going to start creating that sextile. Okay, we got a cool connection. So uh, moon, trine to Venus. Venus sextile to Neptune, Neptune sextile to the moon. Now, this is cool energy. And, and remember that, that the Capricorn energy is karmic, right? So whatever we put in is what we get out. And now our, our emotional moon. So this is like this thing, like, I, uh, I don't want to work out. I don't want to go to yoga class or I don't want to sit and meditate or I, I just don't want to exercise today or I don't want to go do the thing today, the responsibility that I know I have to do. And this energy is like, once we've done it, it's like, oh, yeah, that's why we meditate. That's why we practice yoga. That's why we go to the gym and exercise. That's why we just take a two sec, 30 seconds to do a, a couple push-ups. You know, how long can you, does it take to do a couple push-ups or sit-ups or, or jog in place for a minute? Um, and it's just like the reward is kind of great when we, when we really pull through and do those things for ourselves. And that's what, you know, staying stable, staying committed to ourselves, no matter what's thrown our way. And then we have this alignment with Venus saying, yes, this is why we do this. We do the hard work because we love ourselves. And then the moon creating a sextile to Neptune and Venus creating a sextile to Neptune, which is a very, very lovely placement because Venus is home in the sign of Taurus. And Neptune is home in the sign of Pisces. And Venus loves being in Pisces because there's no, there's no borders. There's no limitation. Science can never and will, science can measure many things. Science can never measure how much you love somebody. Science can never measure how much you love yourself, how much you appreciate something. It doesn't exist. Those tools of measurement will never exist. There's no cap. There's no limitation. There's no amount of love tokens, you know, or something. It, it, it's boundless. It's, it's infinite possibility. So Venus creating, you know, in the stable, show me the money 
sign of Taurus, her home, creating this extremely powerful, beautiful connection to Neptune. This is like, yes, yes, we, we can put in the effort, whatever it is, and, and express and, and with honesty, with commitment, with communication, we, we can uh, find limitlessness when we stay steadfast and committed to ourselves. And the same with the moon, creating that same sextile over to Neptune, creating that trine, easy flow of energy between our emotional needs and our, our, our emotional value. And saying, look, be, stay creative, stay open, stay playful. Something that comes to mind with this because the Tauran energy and the Capricorn energy, Earth energy can be very meticulous. Same with Virgo energy. It can be very meticulous. Like, like I might not want to start a project because I haven't perfected my craft at it yet. So I'd better not start something because I'm such a perfectionist than, than to start something and, and screw up and get it wrong. <laughs> you know, if you have some Earth in your chart, you know what I'm talking about. So, so the Earth energy has that. And the, the, the Neptune Pisces energy is, is playful and creative. And something that's coming to mind as we're talking about the astrology here, there's an amazing artist. You might most probably will not like this person's music. It's Igor, I-G-O-R-R-R. Uh, wild, wild, wild music. Very, very out there. I appreciate it for its kind of chaotic, orchestrated beauty. You might not enjoy it. But, but the point is, this, this is a French composer, and he's meticulous and precise and so good at what he does that he can do anything. And at one point, he takes this little tiny piano, like a little toy baby piano, and he puts bird seed all over it, and a chicken comes, and he records this with a couple GoPros or something, and this chicken comes and starts pecking off the bird seed off of the piano, and then it makes its own music. And then this very talented musician is so good at finding that balance between meticulous, um, precise musicianship and the playfulness of the unknown, of the randomness. This is where Uranus comes into this, okay? If you've been following this video along so far. And he decides to create the this music around what the chicken did the complete randomness of what the chicken did he's now playing guitar and other instruments around it you know and this it's kind of funny to bring that up but it's just like we can be playful in the creation process we can be playful while still being precise we can be playful while still being meticulous we can be uh, boundless while still being stable while still being grounded we can still be open to possibility. And, and if we're in this direction and this is the way that we're going up the mountain, Uranus throws that out the window. And, and with this Neptune sextile that's coming later in the day that we're going to be feeling as the night progresses or wherever you're at, this is like, don't you see this? You know, this is the universe saying, don't you see human that I'm throwing these curveballs at you, not only because you can take it, but because there is a different path, there is a different way, and you're gonna stumble when you zag instead of zig, and you find this different route, you might, you might, you know, walk down a path that has the most beautiful flowers or the beautiful trees or or the the best grip or footing or what you know what i'm saying like like the most magic can happen on this kind of energy, this kind of day, and especially when we put in the work and not giving up on ourselves. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in us. I believe in fate. I believe in chance and, and all of the beauty of the wind blowing. My friends, have a most epic Saturday in whatever wind blows in whatever direction. Some beautiful flowers, some beautiful smells, beautiful birds whatever it may be. Have a wonderful day. I love you. I wish you enough and we'll see you tomorrow.